Hello, everyone. Let me just find the video. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to share it. Just give me a second. Oh, you're going to share it into the groups and everything? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just give me a second. I'm trying to get everyone into the messenger group, the creative memories, the creative family messenger group. So cool okay. I am here. Cool beans. Oh, I gonna... never thought you weren't. Why you do that? Oh. I'll just let you share <gasps> the thing. Oh, in there. I'm just trying to get everyone in, and I'm just gonna try and get Janine in. I have put a new link up there. Janine. Okay, right here. No. Hello, everyone. Uh, new time, new place, new day. Hello, Debbie. How are you? Seems like we only saw you a couple of days ago. I know, right? Only a couple of days ago. Right, well, while we wait for a few more people to rock up, because we do have a new day, That's and we're kind of at the same time. Yes, my dad forgot to do a post about it. Hello, Sandra. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just wait for a few more people. While we wait, this is uh, what I did yesterday afternoon, or one of the things. Uh, it set up as an experiment with stamping with the lovely flowers that I got from Karen Hunt a couple of weeks ago that were officially dead when I did it because my younger brother pointed out to me that I probably should wait until they died to use them as a paint experiment. So we did. We waited. And they were dead. But anyway, so the flowers. Um... And yeah, so that's what was the outcome of that one. Uh, I don't know how I got there in the end, the but it was pretty cool. Well, oh, hello, Sta hello, Tash. So, and this is what we did last week. And, oh, one minute. This journal always has problems with its spine because I never line it up properly. There we go. Uh, always. So this is what we did last week on our last Thursday class. Oh, hello, um, die on the tube and Pam on Facebook. Just remember if your Facebook plays up, we are over on YouTube, and if your YouTube plays up, we are over in the Cray family on Facebook. So, okay, so there's a new link in the, for the live notification group I've got in there, and I'm just going to. Oh, crap. You're having a day, having a moment, anyway. Well, mum does that. Um, just... oh, hello, Dee. She's just putting up some new links for everyone so they can get, get them. Get a live notification group because you've got to get the link off your mobile phone, not off your other device. Yes. Okay. Which so one was this is what we did last week, and if you can come and see, I've put the layer of wax on there already. I did show you guys how to wax a journal page. I think on the live two link. weeks ago. Yeah, on this one. So this one here still needs to be waxed. I can go over how to wax a page again if you want. Actually, we might do that because this is okay to wax because it's quite, it's not that 3D dimensional, whereas this one here has a lot of dimension on it. So waxing it does get a little bit tricky. But um, let's just come ahead and wax this journal page and then we'll get started on the next one. My idea is, is that if I wax a page before I start class every Monday night and then during class every Monday night, I should actually eventually have all the pages in my art journal waxed so they stop sticking together. I know, right? You guys are going to have to watch me do some paperwork. This is my version of paperwork. So we're just going to come in and heat the base of our candle's bottom. That is not what I do. Well, that's what I do. Makes it so much easier. Right. And we just come in and we... Okay, so if out. anyone's in the live notification group and can help Gab get in, because I don't actually go to videos from the live notification group. She's trying to get into the class. Who? Um, Gab. No. Oh, Gab, sorry. Who was the first person I saw when I was home? Um, A nurse. Probably Dr. Zabo, Amy Zabo. She delivered you. And then it would have been Anya Zabo. She was our. Do we have to have this conversation and right here? The next person would have been the student obstetrician that we had for your birth because yours was interesting. And then daddy was right there and mummy. And 
two midwives. Yours was a very planned, special birth for a preppy baby. Right. Because um, they expected you to come early, and you did. Does this conversation... Yeah. It doesn't have to happen now, but she's full of questions, isn't she? Yes. Um, right. So we just come in, and the reason why I heated it up a little bit, it just helps it move a little bit more at first, and then you just come in and you rub, and look. Sandy's here. Hello, Sandy. Well, hello, Sandy, and it oh, stops your pages from sticking. Lookers, so we've um, gone through it now a few times. So we've done it. Sorry. Right, so I was uh, about that one. Let me just do that. So put some of my phone on vibrate. Sorry. I know my phone gives me the Hebrew sometimes when I teach. Right, so we're up to this page here. Oh, that is one of oh, the hello, Raquel. Just loves colour cuts. Right, come for me tomorrow then. Okay, so we're up to this lovely page here, and we've had some of our oh. blue ink leak through to the other side of our page. So we need to come in and. Um, prime it with some gesso and we're just gonna get our pages unstuck because a few of them have stuck together okay die is over on the tube hello die yes i, I have said hello to die oh how, how have you seen that dies on the tube i can read my stream yard here oh you're up on your, you're looking at your phone yeah i've got multiple viewpoints of my artwork <laughs> see i can i've got this covered you don't want me to scribe no you can if you want I'm going to go and watch Paul soon. I'm going to make sure that kid doesn't stay up late because I'm not dealing with the time. I think she's minute. already had um, milk, so she's probably yeah. nearly ready for bed. Right, so what we're going to come and do is, is we're going to get our page a pretty heavy coating of priming, which from our gesso. And then I think we're going to come in and use some watercolour pencils today in a little bit of a different way. Just because, uh, why not? And I also think it's really why great not? to, yeah learn a new technique with some stuff that you guys have already got at home so we're going to come in first with a dry brush in our gesso and we're just gonna flick it straight forward i've got a straight edge brush this is how this technique works it means that you get a thick even coat without having to do much and you just come in and just the tip of your paintbrush is touching not the whole thing down just the tip so you don't actually want your paint to come all the way up to the thread here. You only want it to come to about there, but a third of your paintbrush is to be covered with the um, gesso. Sorry, that's the cat in the background flipping at Melissa's sister's chair. Okay, and then we're just coming in. I'm doing all this. And this is just to make our page a bit stronger because the ink has, from last week, kind of damaged the very much the outside edges of our page. So we just want to come in. And that is because our paper is originally so thin because it's technically typing paper we're working on here. Um, so I'm just coming in and painting. And we're going to do the other side as well because this means we won't have to do so much of this next week. Because we kind of didn't spend enough time on this last week. Um, well, we didn't do a thick enough coat for the technique we did, which is my fault. Very much my fault. Just coming in. And how you know when you've done a thick enough coat is when you really can't see the lines. Like you don't even have to take off your glasses not to see the lines. And I'll show you what I mean when I lift it up. Because right now, even at your viewpoint, you can't see the lines. But that's because they are printed on there in grey. So let me just get a little bit more of this on. 
I've just realized we've hit the colder months here at night. We've had a bit of a, we've had a teeny, teeny, teeny cold snap over the weekend. And we're doing a very wet technique tonight. Who would have thunk it? The week that's like you cannot do wet techniques anymore. And I've gone, let's do a wet technique. That's going to take forever to dry. Right on schedule. Like, honest to goodness. Right on schedule. Well, hello, Nola. Hello, Ray. Sorry, Lorraine and Marie. And did I say hello to Raquel and Sandy? If I didn't, hello. Right, so now that we've got that done, as you can see, you can't. Oh, let me just turn off my light. So as you can see, you cannot see the lines that are printed on the paper. And that's what we really want. We want to not be able to see those lines with our prime layer. So we're just going to put that back down. Let me turn the light again so then you guys can see. Oh, let there be white. So for this technique to work tonight, we're going to use our watercolour pencils to do some type of shading, I guess you could call it. But... The way we're going to do it is so then the medium underneath is still a little bit wet. And I think we're going to stick with like a peachy orange type zone. Um, we use a lot of orange in our classes, but when we use orange, we technically use a lot of green as well. And that is because the green helps balance out the really vibrant orange that we're using a lot of the time. So um, I definitely want to try and use orange without having to use green. So then you guys get to see how that works. As I know, sometimes orange can be a very scary color oh, at some point. So we're just putting down our pencils. Oh, I think she's had a milk. You better check. Uh, Millie's had a milk. Oh, poor Mau Mau. She's sitting on that damn flip flop. Let me move the flip-flop out of the way. She did she try knocking the flip-flop off the chair, but it didn't work so well for us. She's feeling better. Mm. A little. Better. And she can walk. Yeah. I was tired as she was. One of our cats came down with something. We don't know what it is, but... It, she wasn't feeling well. She wasn't feeling They're well. They're vaccinated and they get all their shots and... Yeah, so and tablets and all sorts of videos. Right, so we've got a few different brands of watercolour pencils here. Oh, so you've yeah. got your classic Montmartre ones. And then we've got our primers, which I've got a few oh, of no, here. here Lorraine, you know that? Yes. Robin, oh, hello, Annie Robin. I didn't know Annie Robin was here. So we've also got our primers. And we've got our Faber Cassels. And we've got our Prisma ones. Oh. So. They're all pretty much the same, same, like, you know, they all watercolour pencils. So I'm going to show you that tonight by using one of each and just to show you that, like, no matter what watercolour pencils you've got. You want to show them what the Montmartre ones look like now? Yeah. I think we've got some at the shop or we out again? No, uh, I think we've got a few at the shop. So this and is this what, is can, I borrow your, can I borrow your orange? Because yeah, my to, just be careful the box. I had to sticky tape it up. My box went um to Port City kids classes. Cause remember? Oh, it's probably over here. Yeah, that's class. where most of my watercolor pencils are. So that's what they look like now. They've got like a bit of a purple shade to them, whereas mine are an oldie blue. So Montmartre rebrand exactly every the yeah rebrand every few years. They're exactly the same. They just decide to. Do the thread a bit oh, differently in the pencils. Now. Hello, Diane. Hello, Diane B. So we're going to use a few different brands of watercolor pencils just to see, just so then you guys can see that they all work the same. It's okay if you don't have like a really expensive brand because Montmartre's still going to work, um, even as beautifully as like something like a Prisma or a Premium. It just really depends on what you're looking for and what shades. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Oh, really, you're pulling an off. So we're just going to come in. And we're going to dry our primer. So, see, there you have your mummy lotion. You do know that you haven't had a shower and ball starts in like 16 yep, minutes. I know, I know. I've got a kid out there. Taking her time. Oh, I think Mel was getting her milk. No, she's already had her milk. Dad got her in milk before he left. Right. 
Right, so now that our prime layer is nearly fully dry and how we can tell is that the ink started to come through on this page again. But also it's gone like a bit of a matte. It's no longer that shiny. As you can see um, earlier, it was really reflected on the light. Now it's only a little bit, which means that most of it's dry and we're ready for stamping. Um, what we actually want to do is, is we either want to stamp it in white or we want to make like a negative imprint, which is where we stamp the stamp down and it removes the paint. Uh, because we're going to use watercolour on top, I think it's probably going to be smart if we put white on it and we stamp it down instead of removing the paint or else we're going to have the same issue we had this week with the prime layer not being thick enough for this page and ink running through and we'll just continue to like have to do lots of lots of lots of priming which takes about 10 minutes out of class and I don't think you guys want to do that every single class because it gets a bit boring and we still have about at least four classes left in this art journal so you know um, oh, hell, thank you, Pam. Um, yes, Dad's birthday was today. We're not going to really celebrate until tomorrow because I the left the beaters at work, so I couldn't make the icing for his cake, um, which is going to be a butterfly cake because, you know, why not? Um, I hope he's not on the class video right now. I uh, probably shouldn't have said that, although he kind of has figured it out because he lives in this house, and I baked it last night, literally just before I went to bed. Have you checked that no one's picked a hole in the cake? Oh, I have not. I'm just going to live in ignorant bliss until tomorrow. I will fill any holes in with icing. That is the plan. So what I think we're going to come and do, still trying to get a few people into the April class group. Oh, Remember, okay. April classes start tomorrow. Yeah, so if you haven't got into the April class group, please, And you've bought please. a subscription or a kit or the full kit package... Please contact us. Like or nearly click on nearly. the link. I'll click on the link. Click on the link. The link would be the clicking on the link is the faster option because currently yeah. right now we're and don't just worry about the password if you've paid. Yeah. We're just a little bit busy on the whole um retreats coming out this week. Or being posted. So I think I've decided to go over this stamp. It's an up by Marlene Love Heart stamp. It's kind of meant for journaling, but and I've gone for it because it's got quite a bit of detail, but it also, it stamps really nicely and it's a bit bigger. So we'll be able to have a lot more opportunity to come in and shade with our watercolour pencils, which is what we want. We don't really want a really small one where we've got to get super thinicky because it's a Monday. We want easy. So we're just going to come in. I'm going to stamp that down and we're not going to really see where we stamp it because that's like, oh no, you can, I think you can kind of see that. If I hold it on like the right angle, oh, there you go. You can see it. Look at that. So we're going to come in and do, I think, a few of these. If we just cover the whole page, hey? And we're only going to do one stamp instead of like our rules of three. We are breaking that tonight just because, you know, why not? Um, you can't break the rules on composition. you just got to be confident and okay if it turns out shitty. Because it might turn out just a little bit hairy. Oh, hello, Karen. What have I missed? Any sneak peeks? No. It's in your email. It's in your you email. You're looking at your emails. Looking at emails. There's sneaky You've got to go peeks. And open your emails. There's a sneak peek. Beck has already spilled the beans. You cannot the miss group. Thursday night's class, everyone. Thursday night's class is a cannot miss event. I am so excited. I don't know what I'm going to do if the freight doesn't arrive. Well, too late for that, Bizzo. It's going to arrive. Yeah. If not, we will be driving around the country to find it, picking it up manually and driving it back. I have the ability. I have a car, a license and the determination. Plus, I know where every tool it is on the highway. <laughs> That's important. It is. I can also rate every toilet on the highway. Yeah. Yeah. Just gonna go and give this kid a hoodle. I think she's called my second milk out of the blubber. Yeah, because Dad already gave her a milk before yeah, he left. Yeah, make sure you tell them what you're doing, by the way. Yeah, so we're still doing the stamping and we're rubbing on a generous layer of the white paint. 
Now, be mindful that if you're doing this to a stamp you love at home, put it in a sink full of water, let it soak, come back, and then rinse it. Best suggestion I've got for you. And if you add soap to the water, even better. Even better. I can't really tell when I've added soap to the water of my stamps because half the time when I come along and I've done that, uh, my little sister's been in there and she's played with it and she's stamped it all over the bathroom counter and then I've got to clean it up because there's like blue and white paint everywhere. It's like, oh. It's always when you use a dark colour that she decides to play up the stamps or the brushes. I saw the email and it hinted Naomi John or someone may spill the beans. He he he. Um, like, I am known for spilling the beans on our releases, but I am under strict instruction tonight not to spill the beans, Karen. If I spill the beans, I might be disowned. I might have to come and live at one of the houses. So, we're just coming in and we're heating up our white gesso. And this is to dry the stamping. If it isn't dry at this point, we're going to have a few issues. Like, not many, but just a few. Right, and then what we're going to come in and do is we've got our watercolour palette and we're going to come in and I think we're going to put down our pink first and this is going to be our like safety layer. Leave the cat alone. She doesn't do high fives. So then, oh dear me. It's Missy. Missy doesn't have the coordination to do a high five. No, so we're coming in with... Got one eye that works. We're coming in with a very wet paintbrush and our watercolour on it and we're just lightly scraping it across. Oh, dear. Oh, that'll be... I'll just go and have a look whose email didn't go. I don't have glasses on. It's be Dang, no spilling beans. Gosh, I wish I was a fly on the wall. If you've got an email from us in the last 16 hours, you won't get an email. Unless um, I manually force it to happen. Like, Karen, you could be a fun in the warm little shop. I wouldn't suggest it, though. There's been lots happening today, Karen. We have been madly packing retreat stuff. Dad has pulled out his Wim alarms twice today. 18 people got missed because they'd already received an email in the last 16 hours. Oh, dearie, doctor. I don't know who that is. They got missed for a different reason. Okay. So that's Jeanette, Helen, Kathy, Kay, Dee, Catherine, Cheryl, Paula, Naomi, Astrid, Samantha, Lindy, Margaret, Cheryl. Hold up, I did an order in the last several hours. Kim, Elizabeth, and Anna. No, they all had got an email in the last 16 hours from us, so they don't get another email. So it won't send the email if you've got an email from us in the last 16 hours. It will not send the email to you. Mm, that's fancy. Right. See if that gets to everybody. So now that we've got that there, what do you have? let me just come and show you what I'm looking at because oh. you guys probably can't see the detail. That's why, D. Yeah, if you put an order in this morning... It won't send you one. So if you guys can see where the stamp is now, that outlines it a bit more clearly. So I had to turn out the light. I didn't want you guys to so then you guys can see it a bit better. You know what I really should be doing? So that's... I should come and check on you in the ad breaks, but you know what I really need to be doing? Fussy cutting for this week? Fussy cutting for tomorrow. For tomorrow! Yeah, I haven't even touched it. You haven't done your homework. No, I haven't. Right. I get to my homework. I'm too busy making new things. So we're going to dry this layer real quick, and then we're going to come and do another layer of stamping. And... Oh, thank you. So 
so now that that's pretty much touch dry what we're going to come do is we're going to do another layer of stamping and then another layer of watercolor okay don't forget that the link is working now for the um live notification group in the creative family group too. in the creative family group okay yeah, there's a new link i just put a new one up there's a new link there's a new link people if you want to join the live notification group so we're just coming in and we're rubbing our finger along that again so and then we're going to come and stamp it and ta -da. i don't know how much detail we're going to get because i'm quite heavy-handed as long as we get the majority hey you might see pr this one There we go. Oh, thank you guys. Yeah, so it's a cool effect. And what we want is we really want these like veiny type um, things popping up because that's going to make the watercolor effect so much more cooler because we're going to have those dark lines along with the watercolor. It's going to really just make it sing a little bit more. And that's what we want. So coming in. There we go. So we're going to put that to one side. Now we don't want to do as many as what we did on the first layer. This is purely as like a second layer. Just to make sure we got everything and we've got enough stamp stamps. So we want to dry this again. Remembering not to set our page on fire. There we go. And we're going to come in with our paintbrush and our orange. Now, I did say we were going to use orange without green because that's what we do for one a lot. So, we're just going to come in and put our orange in once again with a wet paintbrush. We're just coming in. Sorry, you can hear my mum's opinions in the background. We can hear you. Sorry. You're supposed to be in a bed, Amelia. Sorry. Little sister is just trying to get out of being in bed by asking my mom. Oh no. Right, so we're just coming in and we're heating that layer up again. We want to dry this layer fully so then our watercolour pencil. Oh, look. We want to dry this layer fully so then our watercolor pencils don't reactivate. Um, this will mean that um, it'll be easier for us to make the shading and it'll be a lot more contrast and dynamic.
Right, there we go. Right, now we've got that. Okay, I'm just checking like my pages aren't sticking together. I think I've got, yeah, I've got wax stuck on the end of my head. So I'm going to have to fix it. That's where the wax mouth's coming from. So that's what it looks like somewhat right now. I know, it looks a little bit muddy. I understand. Oh, hello, Diane G. So what we want to do is that first we want to come in with a little bit more of a vibrant layer. So we might come in with our red of this one and then maybe the brown and the orange that and this one and this one here yep can tell coordination is really in my long suit so i don't know can you see that line i'm gonna wait until you can i'm gonna check yes you can see this line here right so we're gonna come in and we're gonna highlight it so we're just gonna start off first with our red and come and sketch around that line with our watercolour pencils remembering to keep a gap between that line and the next one And then we're going to come and do is we're going to add some of this brown in. Just where it needs to be a bit darker. Come in with our lighter one. Make it just a bit lighter in that area. So I'm gonna have to put it down. So I'm trying to. I think that's a little bit easier to see now while we're working. Then we're gonna come in with our orange. It's all just about adding highlights. And then what we might come and do is we'll do one over here. So we'll do the outside of this one. And as you go through, it'll become a little bit more obvious about where your lines are. really you get to see where everything's going and just get to have a play with your watercolors without adding any water
It's all about picking and choosing what you want to see. And what you don't want to see. And then we're just coming in. We're continuing to add different colors and making sure that we really get the difference between all of our layers. So then we get to see our different points of where the stamp connects and where it doesn't. And it's just about a game of picking and choosing. Some of your lines might be really thin and you go, mm, no, maybe not that one. For example, these ones here are super thin, these lines. So what I've actually done is I've spaced them out a bit more and I've added, a, like, you can't even really see it, like a mill on each side. So you can see them just a little bit better. And you just come up with, like, a pattern of which ones you use first. So technically we're going in with this orange Mont Mart watercolour pencil first. And then we're using the Fable Castell and then the Prima and the Prisma if we need to, to line things up with them. But as you can see, they're all working pretty much relatively the same. They're all blending perfectly together. So it doesn't matter if you've got a mismatch of brands. Honestly, I've got that many different brands of watercolour pencils and oil pencils, all that, oil pastels. They all align. And that is what's important, that they all work together and you can do all the same techniques with them so then you get multiple colours. And now what we might come and do is we're going to go up the page, I reckon. Just continue to go up and across. How 
how are we all going though? Are we all liking this? Do you need any more like explanation? Do you want me to try and hold it up again and do it or are you all happy with me doing it down here? Like I am willing to try and hold it up again. It just didn't work particularly well because I'm not greatly coordinated. But we can try. These classes are about convenience for you guys. So then we're just coming in. No, no, definitely not finished yet. Didn't need to put lots to go. And then just coming in. I think I'm going to do this one here. I think I love how it's really effective when we shadow it outwards, not when we shadow it inwards like we did there. So we're just going to come in. And should I went out oh, once again? Why walk out here to check on you without glasses? That's like a bit of a dunny head thing to do. Oh, oh that's lovely. Oh, I oh, had to move your flip flops. Do these look like your yellow scissors? No, yours. No, okay. they are. Mine only had one strip. Raquel and Brady did look really cool. Oh, Debbie said it's amazing. Marisa looks pretty. Raquel said you look fragile. You can see fine, but we'll have to rewatch to understand the first layers. Okay. Right. I can explain them again verbally. So basically the first step is prime your page with white paint. And make sure that your page is nice and slick. Yep. Well, or, gesso. Gesso, or gesso. Gesso is a bit thicker. It's my preferable prime, but you can do white paint. Oh, that's okay, Michelle. Um this is uh so you've done, done all that with pencils oh, and a little bit you of explain what you've done so far yeah so basically you first prime your page with gesso or white paint gesso explain is what prime means, not everyone's um priming just means um putting a layer of paint on the base of your paper or on your paper or on the material you're going to use um to make it a yes. bit thicker stronger and able to hold a little bit more um mediums like watercolour and all the rest of it if your paper is really thin. Yeah. It also makes your paper a bit slicker and um, a bit more absorbent towards wet techniques which is what oh. we wanted because it's um, this is a super wet technique at the beginning and then what you come and do is is with the same colour that you used to prime slash paint your paper with to strengthen it you come in and you stamp down a rather biggish stamp. If you use a really fine stamp, you're going to be here for ages, as you can tell. And you stamp that down with white paint. So we chose a Love Heart stamp by from the Art by Marlene um, range. Uh, my scrub currently really disappeared, so I can't put a link up to it. Sorry. Um, and uh, my scrub's actually doing her fussy cutting homework. And we did that once with um, a thin layer of paint on the stamp, obviously, to help it really get in there. And then what we do is, is we come in with a, um, and then we dry that layer of stamping, and then we come in with, sorry, English is passing me. Um, and then, I'm going to get this eventually, and then we come in 
with some watercolour. So our base watercolour colour was this pink here. And you want that to be pretty wet. Now the reasons for that is because when it's really wet, it moves easily. It's less likely to interrupt your, it's less likely to, sorry, lift your um, other layers underneath, like your white stamping and all the raised bits because it doesn't have enough body to. And then you want to dry that one to get full coverage. And this is going to help highlight your stamps and really find out where um, your stamp stamped it a lot better because if you're like me and you have poor eyesight stamping white on white can be a bit difficult to see would you believe and you definitely want to make sure between each layer that it is dry we do that twice uh, sorry if this is getting a bit repetitive um, and we do that twice so then we've got two different colors down a so a bit of contrast to begin with and you've chosen your color palette B. Also by doing it two layers at, um, first, it means that if your first layer didn't turn out exactly how you wanted to, you can rectify that and fix it up on the second layer. Which we did do a bit of that because our first layer, um, most of our stamps didn't stamp down fully, so we've had to come in and go a few bigger ones out of the second round. Now, because we're only human, so not every time we stamp it's going to work perfectly. And then once we've done that we've dried it, we're coming in and we're colouring, so shading in, we're in between all the outlines to give it a little bit more dimension. However, we are leaving gaps. So then we've got a bit more um, leeway and you can see your yeah, watercolour underneath also makes us work for you then and there's the added bonus of it makes us work for you and it means that you can leave some bits behind and do other bits instead so as you can see this is so far what we've got done and we're going to keep going up, I think, because we're nearly done this page, I reckon. Um, I reckon if we do this one, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I can see that. Oh, dear. It's again, trouble stamping one on white. Um, they've definitely got one here and one connecting. So we might do those two and then just shade a little bit here and here and in here. And then we'll come over to this other page. Oh, it's all good. Um, completely understand why the latest process needs to be explained for the first bit because it does get a little bit confusing, especially with having to double it up. Um, I've tried doing it before without doubling it up. I just find it a little bit easier because it already makes some of that contrast for you by doing two different colours. And once again, it's easy to see colour palette because you really don't want to be working anything more than four watercolour pencils for your shading or else it gets a little bit... um motley because we're not adding water to it it has to naturally blend when it sits side by side so we don't really want to do complementaries like orange and green or orange and purple or pink and green uh, we want them to kind of blend naturally and slowly so it looks very like it's done um magically uh so that's kind of where we're going with it. So we want the colours to be of the same type of warm tone, if you're using warm tones or something like that. Well, hello, Sally. So if you were doing blue, I'd use like blue purple or blue and green, maybe, like a dark green, like an olive. With a dark blue. But like, that would be me. So I'm just coming in and really defining where this top one is because it's just a little bit more fainter than the other ones I think that were on this page. So defining it first it's going to be key and then going in and adding that detailed shading that we've been doing. And once again we are using multiple brands of watercolour pencils and they're all blending very beautifully together so it doesn't matter 
if you have really old watercolor branded watercolor pencils they're still going to work with your new ones or anything like that or if you've got a brand that hasn't existed in years got a few of those in my stash we use those for kids classes because they're great for kids classes honestly. absolutely wonderful sorry i'm just gonna plug in my ipad real quick there we go um right so we need to keep highlighting this beautiful love heart and shade that down Right, there we go. coming in and choosing like where it's going to be darker so it's going to I reckon it's going to be darkest at the bottom of it and then where like the two collide if that makes sense and it's coming in go okay and then maybe if we come down and we do this one here now right Remember, we're just leaving an extra mill. Around these really thin lines inside of our hearts. And that's just to really define our layers. Sorry, you can't really see that one. I'm just spinning around so that you can. And then
There we go. Coming in along. Once again, choosing where our lights and darks are going to be. And then just going to come and do this side here now in this bit. Goodness me. So I'm just hopping up because my knees can't really handle me kneeling the whole class. No, the stripes were on the stamp. So the stripes are in there. It's like a journaling block type stamp, I think. I don't know. I've never used it to make a journaling block. I think it was just, you know, meant to be a journaling block, but mm, I'm never going to use it as a journaling block. It's quite an interesting stamp, but yeah. I don't think I've ever used it for its purpose. At least it's not its intended one. Oh, thank you, Marie. I'm starting to wonder why I chose to do a double tonight with this. Such a long bloody exercise, eh? Goodness me. Can make this bit lighter. The light Prismacolor pencil is just there just in case we add too much dark at one point. It's like a insurance policy. Right, and then So then I'm just going to come and outline the wild hearts a little bit more carefully with a one of our watercolor pencils that we're using, the Primo one, it's a bit of a darky browny color. And then I think that's page one done. Oh my gosh, it took so long to do. Who feels like just sticking on a word on this page? <laughs> You're going, look this way. It looks so effective though. Imagine if it was a rice paper, how quick that would have that been. Honestly, one minute. Sorry, it's just really hot. This is going hot all of a sudden when it's actually quite a cool night. Hmm. It is an amazing effect. I'm just not very patient. So how do we feel about a word on this page? Any tickets. Whatsoever.
Yes, very 3D. What? Hold up. We will consult with Yoda. Give me a minute to call mom. Mom, can you come out here, please? A big fancy robe would be great. I think big fancy too. Let's see what we can do. Sorry, sorry, come here. It's all good. So we finished that page off. It looks very effective. We're thinking a big fancy word over this page because my hands are hurting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to redo that over here. <laughs> well, why don't you just put a few little words? A few little words? To say something. Why don't we get the word box? The word box. Oh. Why don't we get the words? Mum's letting us break out into our word box. Now this. What we've got either the colour cut words or we've got the word strippy words. The word strippy. Okay, we've got a few options. We say something. Words. Just put something here, like a couple of words that mean something. Right. You don't have to completely kill it. What if we go with a Polish? No, not what? something in Polish, because it would be wrong. Well, my grammar's not great, at, great anyway, so, you know. Dearie, dearie, dearie. Sorry, I just yelled to you guys. Oh, gee, the word box. <laughs> this will be an adventure. It will be. What, what could we use? We could go. Mm -hmm. Cut that up. Follow yeah, the white right, rabbit. Right. It's the wrong color bar. We'll add a flick of to this? pink. What about just that? Serenity. Serenity. Or just serenity here. Yeah. Reckon. Yeah, and just and enjoy the beautifulness of the texture. Yeah, let's do that. I just oh, what, I don't what like do that. Think, what do we think, people? Serenity? And you could probably colour with the, your pencils around the edges of this a little just to yeah. give a bit of your orange colour <gasps> on this. And then we this. could do like a flick of white. Well, you could do whatever you like. Flick of white paint. How do we think? Oh, you and your damn white paint. <laughs> oh, <laughs> OMG, the word box. <laughs> yep. Look at that. She's got a word out and the word boxes are going. No! <laughs> Mum, supervised. What is this? Dare you supervise me? <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Now we're just gonna come in with. I hope you're okay with the word, by the way, people. I'm just assuming. I think the word looks alright. Excellent. Great word. Beautiful. So we're gonna come in with our gel medium gloss because it's currently our matte mini. I think that's a good word. And then we're just gonna come in and we're gonna put a little bit on the back. We don't want to go over the edges this time. We want to have a clean stick. A bit difficult at the moment because I am. Oh, mom's still cutting down her arch for tomorrow's classes. You didn't get to tip the word box upside down. I know. I didn't even get to like do a bit of a taxation on it. Karen, honestly, she was supervising me the whole time. It's like she knew what I was gonna do. <sighs> One day. <laughs> Thank you, Karis. So, yes, we got that one down, and then what we're going to do is, I'm just going to make sure it's, we're giving it a bit of a margin. You know how pages have a margin? We've given it a bit of a margin. And what we're going to come and do is with our full colours, before they get mixed up, is we're going to come in and we're going to do a little bit of shading out, going out of our word, and then I think a flick of white to match the white on our serenity border because we didn't want to have to fussy cut that what we may encourage you to do exactly just a bunch of troublemakers yeah. bad influence I... no never I really don't need any encouragement okay so we're just going to come in and we're going to Slowly, gonna, 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 gonna shade out from our word. So we put the red at the bottom. We definitely want to leave bits and pieces of it unshaded. And this is so then it still floats into the background. I forgot there's bits and pieces behind this one that makes it rise and grip. Oh. 
very interesting having to shade on a page that behind it has raised starfish. Oh my best mate, thank goodness we didn't decide to do the hearts on the side. I think very much a fool's errand. Right. Oh, there we go. And now we're going to come in. And then we go, and then I think we're just going to come in with this darker pencil and do a little bit of shade up here because it's the only colour out of the watercolour pencils that we use that we really didn't get used with the first two layers. So it might just look a little bit misplaced on this page if we don't do it in a few areas. So we're just coming in and really adding to that texture, making sure it doesn't look like a blob, a well planned out blended area. So that's what it looks like so far. Definitely needs a flick of white maybe, like a very, a very small one, a very, 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 very small one. Not a big one, just a small flick. So we're coming in, and to get a small flick, we're going to use our bristly blend brush that doesn't have much movement left in it because my little sister decided to do glue curls on the weekend and then wash out my brush. And I didn't check, so that's on me completely. So to do really small flicks, we want it to be fairly watery, not dripping, but with a fair amount of paint, but not thick, thick loads of paint, just enough for it to be white. Oh, there we go. Then we're just going to come in and the closer you have it the smaller the dots will be and the smaller the range they'll have. Right. And if you don't like where any of the dots are, which is completely fine, We can come in and we can dab it with a piece of gauze once I find my uh, my sacrificial piece of gauze. Oh, there it is. Sorry, it moved on the weekend when I was painting because I challenged myself not to use my sacrificial piece of gauze. Right, there we go. So we're just going to come in and we're just going to remove some of the opaqueness of some of our flicks. Not all of them, just a few. And that's just to make it a bit more how it was pre-flick, but just with that texture so then it goes into our layers. You know? So there we go. And I think the flicks just add what it needed. So that there is our page tonight. Oh, thank you, Di and Karen and um, Mar Marie, yes, it's, um, I think it's quite a lovely page. I'm just going to hold it so they can see the full thing. So that is our full class for tonight. Um, I think it looks pretty nice. I don't know about you guys. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I know it would look cool if we kept on going all the way over here, but it also might have looked overdone and my hands were really starting to hurt. So, um, sorry. Also, it took us like an hour to do this page. So imagine if we were here until nine doing this page. 
Oh, thank you, Lorraine and Dee. Um, so thank you all for watching. Mum is back tomorrow for our first April class in the April subscription group. Now, if you haven't um, bought your subscription or a kit for that group, uh, make sure you do it tonight so we can make sure you're in by tomorrow morning for the class. If you're not in the group and you've already bought a subscription, a kit or a kit combo, um, please go to the products on the website and click the link um, that's attached to them. Uh, it's in the description section. It will be able to um, then send you to it. You don't need the passcode if you've bought it. We know if you've bought it or not. You just need to ask to join and we'll get you in from there. Um, it's just basically a formality of paperwork. You know how it goes, guys. It's subscription. Um, if not in the subscription group, the next class we'll see you on is the surprise one on Thursday, which you have to rock up to. Uh, what's happening on Thursday? It's a surprise class. We're releasing something new and we're having a surprise class Thursday okay. night. Yes. And um, if you what look at your it? seven, seven o'clock, if you look at your email from this afternoon, you or this evening, there this is, is a sneak peek. peek. And I'm not allowed to spread spill the beans. So no, yes. not spill the beans. It's gonna be fun. It's cool. It's never ever been done before. It, it, it is. It's going to be super fun. I'm going to be cutting forever. Anyway, um, not my, not your problem. Anyway, so thank you all for coming. Uh, we this is our official time now. Mondays, seven p.m. This is where we're going to be happening. I think it worked a lot better tonight. Um, I even managed to. I like had a good amount of time to set up tonight, which is why we came in so clean and prepared which I think worked really well because we got a fair amount done in the class tonight. Um, anyway, so thank you all for coming, and we shall see you all either tomorrow morning or Thursday for our next free class. Thank you. Bye. Have a great night.